Hi, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we're going to look at Big Little Lies, Season 2, Episode 2, which is entitled Telltale Hearts. So we saw in the first episode of Season 2, uh, they're all kind of trying to get their lives back together from this incident that happened on the season finale of uh, Season 1, where um, Nicole Kidman's husband, um, they were at the um, trivia night deal at the school and he basically started attacking her in front of these girls, her friends, and um, Zoe Kravitz's um, character ran up to him and shoved him and he fell backwards and went down a flight of stairs and was dead. So evidently they told the police that he lost his footing and um, so we're going to see her uh, Episode one of this season two, she's super depressed and dealing with the fact that she murdered somebody, and evidently she wanted to tell the truth, but uh, Madeline talked her into not doing that, and they all went with the same story that he lost his footing. Well, now his mother, uh, Nicole Kimmons' mother-in-law, is in town, and she's she's not stupid. She's a bitch, and she treats people like shit, and she doesn't like Madeline. So, um, the end of the, uh, episode one of season two, um, Nicole Kidman's character is having nightmares, and she had another nightmare, and, uh, the mother-in-law ran in, who's played by Meryl Streep, and, um, said, now who are we gonna kill? So she must have been talking in her sleep about killing her husband, so... This is going to get good, and we'll see where this goes from here. All right, let's watch. Damn. She fell asleep. Wow. I was driving and... Ma'am, have you had anything to drink? No, I haven't. <sighs> I couldn't sleep last night, so I took a pill at 2 a.m. And you don't even remember getting in the car? No. Ambien? Half the breathalyzer. I do. You don't remember? I'm I was... I was yep. driving and... Ma'am, have you had anything to drink? No. Agent Michael Nelson was the FBI. Oh, step Please back. put your hands no. on the hood of the car. I'm sorry. What's going what? on? Hands what? on the hood now, what? sir. Oh, oh, do it. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Hold on, hold on. There's confusion, sir. Hey. 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 Security fraud. None of your business. You don't like me, do you? No, and you don't like me. I'm sure you mean well. You know, when I was very young, <laughs> my family just moved, and we I was going to a brand new... Oh, my God. This could be like a positive thing, you know, that, that, that is like there are chapters of life. I will not, not be rich. Ooh. She can't be like us normal people. God forbid. I will not, not be rich. Asperger's? Yeah. Is that what I was saying? Don't. Mom. 
You had no right. It's not about being right. It's about being scared. You're scared of what? Of losing you. It's about being scared. Scared of losing you. Nathan, if you're scared of losing me, why don't you try talking to me? I'm trying, and you know it. I'm trying. You know. I'm so grateful to you for everything you've done for me. This place might be good. Told me that you and she had words. Madeline told me. I don't like her. Well, you have to try. Well, I have tried, but she's not a likable person. I have tried, but she's not a likable person. She's been a lifeline to me. She really has. She's a wonderful person. Mr. Klein, you're being charged with security fraud, mail fraud, and wire fraud. Violating Section 17A of the Securities Act of 1933, and Rule 105 of Regulation M. Of Question of bail. No priors, Judge. Question I ask that the bail. defendant post bail in excess of $1 million in light of the severity of... Staffing. $500,000 Staffing. 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 She started calling them pump freaks. I never even noticed you had a french fry. I ate french fries. You're right, I just didn't notice. That's your thing, is it? Oh, freaks, and she started calling them pump no, 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 freaks. No, no, no. I never even noticed you eating a french fry. I ate french fries. Yeah, you're right, you just didn't notice, did you? That's your thing, isn't it? Wait, what? Don't get all sensitive with yourself. No, no, I'm not, I'm not being sensitive. I'm just asking, like, what do you mean? Because you're ill-equipped to connect with you. Oh! Psst. What a mother-in-law. No. What now? Celeste is something like this. They find out that you're brother? Who told you that? I heard you talking on the phone once. Did you tell Max and Josh? Only that they have a brother in the second grade. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, good God! I didn't say who. Did you tell Ziggy this? Mm -hmm. Wait, Harry Wright is Ziggy's father? Deal with going to your rounds. Give me your phone. I'll deal with you later. How do you explain that to a kid? No, until trivia night. That is tragic. Is that our thing now? Oh, oh yeah. My. You don't know she cheated on you. Jesus. I'll never believe he that. Wasn't. Your son wasn't an innocent man. He beat me up. I don't Many times. You. He... Why wouldn't you go Many to the police? I... Why wouldn't you go to the police? I I told Ziggy about the circumstances. The violence of it? Just a little bit, but he knows that he cannot share it with Max and Josh, that it's just for him. He knows that he cannot share it with Max and Josh, that it's just for him. But we had an agreement. We were getting away. I know, but I can't lie to you. Like you are teaching the most fundamental building block, which is education, right out from us. She can always go back to school. What do you mean? No. You were fucking the theater director last year. So. Wow, that is so inappropriate, well, Abigail. Really and this is not and about me. This is about you and your future. Uh, hey. <gasps> no. No. Oh my gosh. What's this about fucking a theater director? OMG. No.
fighting with each other. So what's us? You ask me what I'm thinking. I think we're done. I think we're done. Mm hmm Yep, you screwed up, sister. Tell me. What have you done this time? What have you done? Hmm. Mm. She knows something's up. Eyes are catching up with y'all. That's sweet that they brought them together. Yeah, you screwed up big time, sister. Wow, that was a good episode. Wow. I can't believe that um, Laura Dern's husband, whew, he's going to go to prison for a while. And lost all their money. I love that. That's my new line. I will not not be rich. <laughs> that was awesome. And then Ed finding out that she cheated. That was sad. And then the boys finding out that they've got a brother. And how you explain that to a little six or eight, whatever the, the age they are about rape. So this is a good show. I really like it. Any comments below? And we will see you next time.